In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the bot that we're going to build. This bot is for a fictional company called BP Tractors, and it will answer customer questions based on a spreadsheet. It can escalate to humans, and it can also create a lead in Salesforce. The first thing I'd like to show you is the bot instructions, which you can find by clicking right here. What you can see here is just like a prompt in ChatGPT. Uh, so you're just using human uh, natural language to explain what you want your bot to do. Uh, and then when you talk to it, it will follow your instructions. The next thing I'd like to show you is the ability to grab information from tables or spreadsheets. So right here on the left, we have something called tractors table. So I'm going to click it, open it. And this is just like any other spreadsheet or tabular data right here. Uh, in this case, we have a name of a tractor, description, uh, the horsepower, and the price. If you want to, you can export this, you can import it, uh, you can use the API to modify it. Uh, so all kinds of easy ways to modify this data. To add the tractors table to your autonomous node, there are only two things you need to do. The first is make sure that it's found in your knowledge base. And the second, in your autonomous node, all you need to do is add the query knowledge base card. You don't even need to configure it. That's it. The next thing I'd like to show you is how easy it is to add external functionality, like, such as creating leads. So all you need to do is add this card right here, create lead, to your autonomous node. Uh, and then in the emulator, in this case, we have logic to trigger this uh, within the prompt, within the instructions. Uh, when someone says something like, hey, I want to buy, and then the autonomous node will ask all of the right questions to fill this input and create the lead in Salesforce. Next up, I'd like to show you how you can get out of the AI magic mode and get into a workflow where you control 100% of the output. So to do that, all you have to do is add some instructions here to say when to kick the user to a particular workflow, in this case, human in the loop. Uh, we've created this workflow to just say, hi, I'm a human for the moment. And if you go back to main, all you have to do is add this card, add the instructions. And then when a, when a user says, uh, I want to talk to a human, they will be escalated to that workflow with controlled outputs. As you can see here, hi, I'm a human. And finally, I'd like to remind you that like with any bot press bot, uh, you can build your bot once and deploy to multiple channels. So in this case, we have our uh, Telegram channel, and here we have our web chat channel, but we, we also support WhatsApp, uh, Line, uh, Messenger, Instagram, all of these channels. And if something is missing, we always have the API. All right, so that's what we're going to be building. Uh, I'll see you soon.